Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Nick Terry, CEO of New Territory, here with the boy Layback who just killed the stage. How you feeling right now, man? Talk to me. Hey, I'm feeling good, man. I just want to say, man, I appreciate everybody that came out, and um, it was awesome, man. Like yeah. the energy was crazy. So yeah, it was a dope, dope event, man. Tell me something. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey? What did it take to get here? I know you quit your job last year, and you were, you know, freelancing for a little while. A lot of us know some of your story, but your fans don't know. A lot of us don't know that you, you Ubered and you did Lyft and all that stuff to support your dream. Enlighten us. All right, so basically, like, I started rapping, like, when I was young. Like, me and my cousin used to rap or whatever. Okay. And um, he was always better than me. And still to this day, miles and miles, you know, ahead of me. But um, he wanted me to start rapping with him only because he was like, man, when I blow up, I want to take you with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I started writing and stuff like that. And then so in high school, I started rapping with one of my partners or whatever. We had a little movement. And uh, it was at Independence High School, bruh. And um, at Independence High School, a lot of people know me from there and stuff like that. And we just started started working. But at the beginning, a lot of people didn't like me. Okay. They didn't think I was dope and stuff. So I had to start working on my craft and just, just kept going. And <clears throat> here to now, it's, 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 a, it's like light years away, man. And I'm just... I just stuck to it and stayed consistent. Okay. You told us today that you've been working on this album for two and a half years. Yeah. What made you release it today? Not only that, but the, the title Black Matter, what does it mean? Man, I wanted to release it today. It was really like a spur of the moment thing. Okay. And uh, I just wanted to show the people that was in the building tonight, like, I appreciate them, bro. And what better way than put out a project that I've been working on for two and a half years. I didn't post it on social media. Right. I didn't let nobody know. It was out. After that, I was like, I want to create a moment for people. You know what I'm saying? So when they come to the show, we rock out, we do the show, we kill it. And then after that, I want to I want to show my utmost appreciation by giving my album to them. Okay. The people that's in here got the, got it first. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow I'll post it up online. The world can get it later. I got you. But the people that travel, the people that spend money, the people that actually was in the building deserve it, man. Okay. I particularly like the, the track called uh, Kiss and Tell with Brandon Sutton. Can you shine some light on that track? Okay. What's the inspiration behind it? First, we got to go back to Black Matter. Okay, talk to me. Because uh, Black Matter, the title, um, I got that title. I was like really in a journey of finding myself. And I started doing a lot of research. And basically, Black Matter is the space. And you know what I'm saying? So all the stuff that you see up there in the sky is Black Matter. And okay. we are made up of Black Matter, which is just basically intelligence. I got you. Know you know what I'm saying? So I just got on this journey of, uh, of you know, the universe and all that type of stuff. So that's how we came up with the title Black Matter. <clears throat> Ran with it. But um, the record with um, Brandon Sutton, Kiss and Tell, that's one of my favorite joints too. Okay. Um, shout out to, um, what's the dude name? Corey. Actually, Corey is here. His partner, Corey, produced it. Oh, where? Um, yeah, he, he told me about him. He actually put the record together pretty much. He told me about Brandon Sutton okay. and he told me about Corey. Corey is a producer. He done produced for uh, Wiz Khalifa, The Game, okay. uh, Chris Brown, real, real top notch producer. And so he, he actually linked all the pieces together to make the song. He was actually there when we recorded it. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, so I love the song. It's a dope record. It's a rendition of the uh, Alicia Keys joint. We kind of right. flipped that right. and made it live. A lot of uh, live instrumentation and stuff. So yeah, one of my favorite records too. Who are some of your influences? It's crazy, like Erica Badu, you know. Interesting, interesting. Jill Scott. Okay. Um, Andre 3000. Um, all those type of people. I'm a vibe type of person, you know what I'm saying? So I always say if I could sing, I would sing instead of rap, but because my voice ain't that good, a nigga just rap. But Okay. Yeah, those those are the people that I say really, really inspire me, man. Cause they go deep, they dig inside themselves and they think outside the box. I wanna ask you a personal question real quick. Let's get personal for a second. As you know, the music has a, a influence on generations. Mm -hmm. What's your message? My message is at the end of the day, it's self-love, self-belief. Believe in yourself. Anything that you want out of this life, it's gonna take hard work and dedication, but you gotta first start with believing in yourself. And society, for so long, teach us to believe outside of ourselves for the power, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And people forget to just look inside themselves and dig inside their mind and dig inside their soul for the energy that they need to move forward. Once right. you dig inside yourself, and, and you start putting that momentum out there, the universe gonna start bringing it back to you. Respect. But if you don't dig and believe in yourself first, you only can get but so far. 
Okay. So okay, that's okay. it. Self believe, self love, believe in yourself, elevation. Let's, you know what I mean? Elevate your mind. Like, don't let these people like just stop you. Like, just keep going, man. Rumor had that you're calling yourself the new LO. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta ask you about that, man. I seen you on stage. You got the arms out. You got your jersey on and stuff like that. You swagged out. Right. Hello, Cool J. That's that's big shoes to fill. Man. Why are you calling yourself? To, I mean, that, that might be highly disrespectful to some some of the critics, man. Why would you even shoot your shot like that? I'm gonna tell you, man. Talk to it, me. It came from the people first. Okay. Like I didn't title myself that. You know, so you go to my Instagram, you'll see, oh, you look like LL or old. So I'm like, well, shit, let's use it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And so what's crazy was, like, I go on LL Cool J Instagram page, right? And what I do is, I go under his picture, so he just post a picture. Right. And I be like, yo, they saying I'm the new LL Cool J. Okay. And so the people will see that, be like, who the fuck this? And so they'll go down there and look at my page and be like, oh, snap, he really do look like the new LL. So, okay. And they'll start following me. Right, right, right. Which right, is right, crazy. Right. So it's like, I feel like there is no LL right now in, in rap. You know what I'm saying? The dude that's... That's a man's man, that women love, right. that's respected from, for, for, from the dudes as far as the bars and stuff like that, but also the women just can't get enough of. Gotcha. And it's just so happened I got the perfect mix, mixture of both. I can rap and the women just really appeal to me. So okay, I was okay. like, well, we, we the new LL Cool J, you know what I'm saying? After analyzing the album, I might have listened to the album at, at least maybe about seven to 10 times, honestly. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to, to, to dive in into Black Matter. I wanted to listen to the intelligence. I wanted to listen to your growth. I noticed there wasn't any hip hop features on the album. Right. Is there any album, I mean, is there, are there any other artists that you aspire to, to, to work with in the future? I know you gave us like Andre 3000 and, and different artists like that. What about some hip hop artists? Damn. Who would I want to work with as far as hip hop artists? I mean, we can shoot for the top. We can say Drake. Okay. We can say we, we can say Kendrick. We can say all the people that's you know J Cole. J Cole. We both from North Carolina. You know okay. what I'm saying? So the people that's at the top, that's that's the only place I'm going. Okay. okay. So that's really the only artist I want to work so with. So no no Uzi Vert. So. I mean Uzi, he killing he killing the mumble rap and and, and that that genre. He's the one of the leaders. Like right. you know what I'm saying? So right. yeah, I work with him. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not trying to work with nobody that's at the bottom because that's not where I'm trying to stay. We're trying to elevate. So the okay. only way I can elevate is to get around those people that's higher than me. Right, right, and right. And to humble myself and be in their presence and, and, and soak up their knowledge. So that's where I'm trying to go. Interesting. A lot of people don't know that you're, you're not only an artist, but you're a businessman. What kind of advice would you all offer uh, new artists coming into the business? Man, do your homework. Okay. What you mean? Go into detail, elaborate. Do, do your homework as far as like when, you, when you're doing your music, Make sure you, you do the split split sheets right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the artist and the person that you're working with know the splits. Um, do your BMIs, do your ass caps, protect okay. your music, you know, copyright your music. One of the things that um, my boy uh, Corey, that, that's the producer I was telling you about, the first thing he always told me, bro, make sure your business is straight. People gonna try to take your stuff, they're gonna try to steal your stuff. Make sure your business is straight. So it was a lot of naysayers saying, bro, you ain't big yet, you ain't this yet. You don't need to make sure that your business is straight. Nah, you gotta start from the ground up and you gotta have good, you gotta have good habits at the beginning so they can keep going and manifest bigger in the future. So you gotta make sure your business is straight. Man. Right. What's, the, what's next for laid back? Is there a tour coming? EP? Um, with this album out, it's hot. I think you have a lot of radio play. Um, I particularly like, uh, I think you got like four radio bangers. What's next? What you got planned? Man, what's next for me is, is more self-evaluation and self-elevation. Respect. Respect. First of all, because I'm like, how in the world I'm going to up this album that I just put out? And I came to the realization the only way I can do better than what I just did is to elevate myself first. Okay. You know, so once I become a better person, you know, the tomorrow and the day after and stuff like that, the album ha or the music that I start to produce has nothing it has to go up. Right, I keep right. going up, the music has to go up. So first, next, self-evaluation. Go back, go to the drawing board, see your strengths, see your weaknesses, right. look at them, uh, evaluate them, and move forward. And then from there, what's next is whatever the people want. If they want an EP, we're gonna do it. Gotcha. But right now, we rocking with Black Matter. Black Matter. It took two and a half years. We ain't just gonna let this pass over. I feel like it's a timeless record. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been working on it for years, man, and, and I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this one. As we're wrapping this interview up, any last words? Man, I just want to say all the people that's out there that support me, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I got a YouTube page. I call them Fire Squad. I got to shout y'all out because it's going up on my YouTube page. 
But um, everybody that, that ever, you know, listened to a song on SoundCloud, everybody that, that um, streamed it, anybody that purchased a ticket, anybody that purchased a hat, a shirt, yeah. anything, like, told your friend about me or anything, thank you, you know what I'm saying? One of the things for the night's theme was, yo, I'm gonna give high energy, but I'm also gonna give, gonna give high appreciation. Right, so right. So I appreciate everybody that, that even just, you know, think about listening to the album or, I advise you to listen to it. I think it's a, a timeless project, but I just want to say thank you to everybody, man. And, and I'm, I'm grateful and I'm humble, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, you just put out this dope album. How can your fans get to it? What are your, what are your outlets? Uh, SoundCloud, did you put it on Tidal, Spotify? Let everybody know how they can download the album, how they can support you, how they can buy the album, etc. All right, so this album I'm not releasing on SoundCloud. Okay. I released a song a week for six months last year for free. So this right here, you have to buy it or you have to stream it. Support the boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, put a lot of money into the album. Okay. So um, you can get it from Tidal, Apple Music, anywhere that is sold, Spotify, Amazon, Prime, all that type of stuff. You can just search Laid Back, Black Matter, Pop Up, and that's how you can find it. Man, I want to tell you congratulations. We support your dream, and we support you more as a person, man. Keep keep up the good work. Let's get it rocking. Hey man, we going into new territory though. You feel me? Hey. Shout out to my boy, man. It's my boy, man. I love this dude, yeah, man. Yeah, Been yeah, down yeah. for years. He got this clothing line, new territory. It's, it's wicked. Ill. He do all my merchandise. Oh yeah, most and, definitely. Uh, he a day one, man. So I appreciate you, man. Let's Thank get you, it, man. man. I definitely appreciate your sacrifice, man. And we love the album, man. Keep up the good work. Praise. Man.